How well do you know the anatomy of your axe? Stay tuned to the end of this episode where I'll be testing your knowledge. So, today we are uh, going to be talking about the anatomy of the axe and you would be surprised at how many uh, parts an axe has and all the names it has for it. Um, the handle is the haft and this is the, uh, the head of the axe. But uh, the head of the axe consists of the, uh, the bit, which is this general blade section, and the pole, which is uh, some people refer to as the butt. And uh, starting down here, this wider part of the axe is called the knob. And where it kind of curves down to the knob here, that's called the throat of the axe. So when you swing the axe, you actually grab it by th the throat. And this kind of curved underside of the axe uh, handle here, or the haft, is known as the belly. Did you know that axe has had bellies? That one has a belly. This axe has a belly. <laughs> and then obviously the back curve here is known as the back of the axe. And then coming up here, where it widens out and it, and it uh, goes through the, the axe head, this is known as the shoulder uh, of the handle, of the, of the axe. So the, the axe head sits on the shoulder of the handle and then moving up to the axe head itself, like I said before, this blade section is the bit, this back part is the pull, and um, uh, so those axes with two blades, like double blades, one on this side, but then it's one on this side, they're known as a double bitted axe. And um, uh, this flat section of the blade is known as the cheek. Um, what else? There's the, the very, edge of the blade here is known as the cutting edge and then there's a, a part here where the, it starts to go down to the cutting edge um, and that's known as the secondary bevel and uh, what else where the handle comes through where the hole is in the axe head that's known as the eye of the axe and some axe heads uh, they have kind of a, a little bit of metal that comes down over the handle here um, mine doesn't have it that's known as the lug. And moving on, uh, this point on the axe head is known as the toe. And this point over here is known as the heel. And so if you point it ahead, your, uh, your toe's in the front, your heel's in the back. Uh, as well, if you'll see on my axe head here, um, the axe head doesn't go straight down. It actually kind of curves out a little bit. And this section here is actually known as the beard. Uh, with the part of the axe that curves down a bit. So just this section right here is known as the beard. And uh, so the Viking axes back then, um, they, uh, they had longer beards, they had bigger beards because the axe head would come down furthermore, it'd be a, a lot more exaggerated. And so a Viking axe is sometimes known as a big bearded axe. So now you know. Awesome. My, my axe has a little beard. <laughs> so. Never would have thought. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it for uh, all the all the parts to the name of the axe. I'm sure I forgot something. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So um, again, we have the knob down here, the throat here, the belly here, the back here, uh, the shoulder here, the pull, uh, the the bit, the eye. Uh, the toe, the heel, the beard, the cheek, secondary bevel, cutting edge, and again, I think that's it. So uh, you probably never thought there was that many parts to an axe, but congratulations, you learned something new today. The end. So it's time to test your knowledge. Are you ready? What is the handle of the axe called? The handle of the axe is called the haft. If you got it right, give yourself a point. What is this section of the axe, highlighted in red, called? This section of the axe is known as the knob, and the shape of this knob is done in a popular style known as fawn's foot. I'm going to give you the next one for free. The green section of the axe is called the throat. Now, what I failed to mention is that the section between the knob and the throat is called the grip which is highlighted in blue. 
When I'm using the axe, one hand holds onto the grip, while the other hand holds onto the throat. Okay, next question. What is the yellow portion of the axe called? If you guessed belly, you are correct. What is the purple section of the axe called? Well, if the yellow part is known as the belly, then the purple section must be the back. What is the orange part of the handle called? This section of the handle is the widest part and it runs through the axe head. It's known as the shoulder. What is the pink section called? You're looking at the pole. What is the point of the blade called, where the lime green arrow is pointing? It's the heel. And if that's the heel, what is the red arrow pointing at? That'd be the toe. What is the green section of the axe head called? That's called the beard. What do you call the brown section? That's called the bit. Now, what area is the brown circle showing us? The flat side of the axe head is often referred to as the cheek. What is the opening in the axe head called? The opening in the axe head, highlighted in red, is called the eye. What is the very end of the blade called? The cutting edge. And finally, what is the part of the blade called that tapers down to the cutting edge? It's the secondary bevel. So, how well do you know your axe? <laughs> All right, that's pretty good, I think. Was that educational? Did you? I learned a lot. Yeah. You feel like you got something out of that? I like how the. I learned uh, about the beard. I like the. Yeah, That's like about the, all I remember. The beard, I like the I beard part. Oh. Because Vikings had bigger beards, they needed bigger bearded axes. You know, I think that's true. <laughs> like we've got bigger beards, so do our axes. <laughs> I've got a little beard, so I got a little beard on my axe. Yeah. My axe wouldn't have any beard. I also <laughs> I just, like I the fact stubble. that you grab it by the uh, the neck of it. The throat. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the by throat. by throat. So you're you're yeah. literally like choking your axe. Yeah, every time you swing it. That's mean. Why is the throat so far away from the head? I know. <laughs> he's got a very long. Uh, it's below the belly. It's if, if we're if we're kind of looking at this as a human, he's kind of messed up. Yeah. <laughs> the belly and the back are here, and then there's like a throat, but then you got the cheek here. So. Yeah, he's messed up. His throat is below his belly. Yeah. But it does make sense to grab it by the throat. Yeah, it does. Now the uh, the older axes, they um, the poles here, like this pole sticks out a little bit past the handle, and that's to kind of balance the uh, the weight of the axe, so it doesn't, like, it's not front heavy here. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the old axes, they don't really have any bit uh, any pole, like it just it just ends here, so the axe was kind of wobbly when you when you'd hit, it was too much weight on the front, so it kind of go all over the place, so. This is kind of the counterbalance now. And this is the eye. It's shaped like an eye. It's got two pupils. Yeah. A little. <laughs>